Hi everyone, welcome to Atoma 16. On our today's lesson, I'm going to explain how we are going to find the solution of these two different exponential problems. So, if you are a new member of my YouTube channel, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe Atoma 16. Well, now let's see how we are going to find these two different exponential problems. So, on the first part, let me show you how we are going to find the solution of the first equation. So the first equation is gonna be now you can just look the first equation which is 2 raised x and 2 raised x. Now that means on the left of this plus sign we have 2 raised x and on the right of this we have 2 raised x. So 2 raised x is common for these two terms so we can take out 2 raised x and we can write this as 2 plus 3 which is immediately given us 10 is that so now from here this is given by 2 raised x times 5 because 2 plus 3 is 5 which is exactly 10 and therefore 2 raised x is given by 10 over 5 10 over 5 and this is given by 2 raised x is given by 2. And you know that 2 mean this is given by 2 raised x which is 2 raised 1. So if two exponential problems have the same base, we can immediately equalize their exponent. That means they have the same base. So this implies the value for x is immediately 1. So this is how we solve the first equation. This is very simple. Well, now let's see. Let's see how we are going to do the second problem. Similarly, for the second problem, you have to look or you have to collect like some together, is that? So in this case, what you have to do, let me write this problem this way. 2 raised 4x plus 1 times 3 raised 2 minus x, which is equal to 8 mean 2 raised 3 the whole x, is that? Times 3 raised 5 minus 2x. You know that if we have an exponential problem, this can be written in the form of a raised n. The whole m mean what? This is given by a raised n times m. Is that? So for any exponential problem that can be written or reduced, this form is given by this one. So these exponential problems are the same. So because of this principle, we can describe this as 2 raised 4x plus 1 times 3 raised 2 minus x, which is given as 2 raised 3x times 3 raised 5 minus 2x. Is that? Then after, now we need to collect like terms together. That means let's divide these, first of all, 2 raised 4x plus 1 over 2 raised 3x. Is that? I divide or I multiply both sides by 1 over of this one and then again let's divide both sides by this with this one so which is given by 3 raised 5 minus 2 x over 3 raised 2 minus x is that mean in the case of this problem I have taken this on the right and I have just taken this on the left is that I have divided both on the right and on the left. So now we have this. Then with the principle of Azino, if we have an exponential problem, a raised n over a raised m, since the bases are the same, now it is written as a raised n minus m. That. So you can immediately take this into the exponent and which is written this form. So similarly, or with the principle of this one, now we have the same base, so it is written as 2 raised 4x plus 1 minus 3x. That means the whole these expression means this one. Is that? And which is directly the same 3 raised 5 minus 2x minus into 2 minus x. You know why? I think you know the reason why I'm just use this bracket because the exponent for 3 in the denominator is 2 terms. So because of that now this negative sign will multiply both. Is that? So this is written as 4x minus 3x will be what? 2 raised x plus 1 and which is given us 3 raised 5 minus 2x 
minus 2 plus x. See that? Let's raise them this way. Finally, when we just bring this in this way, now when we just take this one up, this reason us takes this right here to raise to x plus 1, which is going to be what? 3 raised now minus x plus x is obviously minus x. 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3 minus x. Is that? Because you know that, you know, you know why? 5 minus 2 is obviously 3, and minus 2 x plus x is minus x. So now we have this relation. So and this simplifies that 2 raised x plus 1, which is going to be 3 raised 3 times 3 raised minus x. Is that? Then here, similarly, we have this is written as 2 raised x times 2 raised 1, which is 27 times. Or, or we can say this is 3 raised x is the same, is that? Because you know why? A raised negative 1 means 1 over a, is that? So because of this principle, we can describe 3 raised minus x mean 27 over this one. Then, now this is obviously given by, as is given by 2 raised x times 3 raised x times, or which is equal to 27 over 2, is that? Then this means if similarly again you know the relation of the very important point a raised n times a raised m mean what you know this is you can take a raised n plus a is that similarly if we have a raised n times b raised n this is written as a b the whole n is that so with the same this case now we can apply this technique 2 and 3 are different but have the same exponent, so 2 times 3 is the whole x, which is going to be 27 over 3. So 6 raised x is given by 27 over 3. And which is given by, now you can change this into equivalent logarithmic statement, and the value for x is given by x is equal to the logarithm of 27 over 2, over 2, over 2, to the basic, see that? So this is the solution of this equation. So, if you are a new member of my YouTube channel again, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. It's Thomas 16. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.